The National Security Committee has, Cabinet has decided today that Australia will reopen our borders, borders to all uh, remaining visa holders on the 21st of February of this year. We have been progressively opening our borders since November of last year. Those programs have proceeded very successfully. Um, whether it was the programs we had in place with New Zealand or Singapore, uh, and then with Japan and South Korea, opening up to international students and backpackers and, and economic uh, migrants who are coming to Australia, that will now be extended uh, principally to international visitors who will be able to return. The condition is you must be double vaccinated to come to Australia. That's the rule. Everyone is expected to abide by it. And uh, it's very important uh, that people understand that requirement if they're seeking to come to Australia. But if you're double vaccinated, we look forward to welcoming you back to Australia. And I know the tourism industry will be looking forward to that. And over the next two weeks, uh, they will have the opportunity both for visitors to be coming and for them to be gearing up to welcome international visitors back to Australia. Um, the state-based cap, cap arrangements on arrivals and the state-based quarantine arrangements will continue as they have them in place and they'll be up to state governments to alter those as they see fit, as has always been the case. But we just want to stress that you will need to provide that proof of vaccination. Um, your visa is one thing, but your entry into Australia requires you also to be double vaccinated. And I think events earlier in the year should have sent a very clear message, I think, to every around the world that that is the requirement to enter into Australia.